list you just gave me, I guess FTM would fit the best. I don't really identify as boy. It's like, it means something different to me. Trans fits, I guess, depending on your definition of it. I identify as an animal, and if somebody asks me, are you a boy or a girl, then I'm like, okay, I guess I'm a boy. Yeah, I, I would choose that more than the other. Okay. If there's only two, then, you know. <laughs> right. But I believe that there's more of a spectrum. I primarily uh, identify as genderqueer, um, called a fag, called a little boy, like whatever. Those are all really good terms for me. But genderqueer, um, I definitely embrace the spectrum of gender and I embrace my femininity. In a day-to-day -day presentation, it's more of an androgynous you know, look, but um, I do like to play with my feminine side every once in a while. Yeah, so I identify as a queer person, so that just means that I like everyone, but I specifically love Aram, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very feminine. Above else, uh, I identify as genderqueer. Um, it's something I've sort of really come into over the past couple of years. Um, I, like, for most of my life, was a cis male, and um, kind of comfortable with that identity, um, just had like a genuine or a general sort of iffiness about it and then like got really uncomfortable when like as I got older like certain people would refer to me as a man I'm like oh I don't feel really comfortable in the gender binary so I found gender queer as an identity and as an identity and it felt really good it fit well, I'm pretty much Gender queer and FTM and queer and several other things that I don't probably remember the names of, but I don't think I'm butch. Yeah, I think that that's one I've. I never really claimed it very much, and I let it go because that's not. I'm more male than butch. If that makes sense. I'm a film FTM. I'm a trans fag. I usually go for other trans guys. Traditionally, I do also date women sometimes, but they're trouble. <laughs> I identify as queer. I think that describes my sexuality better because a lot of the people I play with have so many different identities. Now, saying you're queer or pan, pansexual, kind of. Yeah, I, I don't. I like queer because yeah. to me, queer means like not straight people. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what's in your pants so much as as long as you're not straight, that's kind of that's like the line. I'm still up in the air with it. I'm new to the transition. Um, but I've always saw myself as a boy. Which boy, so I would have to say I'm a boy. I gender queer. I would love to say I'm trans, but I haven't had any surgeries just yet. I just started testosterone in February of this year. So I'm still going through the change. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely tough, as, particularly in the modeling world. Um, like, there's a few rare examples, but that's exactly what they are. They're, they're really like shining gems, and then everything else is just. Yeah. Last time I modeled, I was still female bodied. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I was a cute girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just an average funny looking guy. <laughs> but a happier guy. So. I'd say more so now than there used to be. There's kind of representation with like, um, now that Lady Gaga is like crazy, people know about, you know, fashion from her now. It's interesting actually. Like, I'm coming from the porn world, particularly mm -hmm. the queer porn world of mm -hmm. San Francisco, and you're seeing a lot more of it there. <laughs> I don't really care about the outside social media. Um, I think there are a lot of outlets for the queer community and resources out there to, um, if you're interested in porn, there's stuff out there. If you're interested in movies, like we have a lot of different film festivals, and I mean, 
some of the part of queerness is, you know, not to quote unquote sell out. The only representation I see of people who are not cis are representations that we're putting out there out of our own community or yeah. uh, groups that trans have, masculine. yeah, or groups that have, you know, partnered with our community to make us more visible. The media at large definitely sort of just either glosses over it or can really sort of uh, demonize or just like otherwise make it seem bad or wrong. Just in the Bay Area in general, there's a lot of opportunities for, um, you know, for us to be open and, and acceptance of who we are. It took me so long to figure out exactly what my deal was, I really believe, because there was really no representation of anybody like me anywhere when I was growing up, which was Asheville, North Carolina. Um, it's a really great place, but it is in the Bible Belt, and so when I was young, it just wasn't something that was talked about, even being gay, much less being transgender. So, And being very femme, I didn't mind doing modeling and cheerleading and girly things. And, um, and so it took me so long to figure out I'm just a really femme dude. I'm from Canada, okay. British Columbia. British yeah. Columbia. Yeah, I grew up in a very small town. Like I knew one gay male, very flamboyant growing up. That was it. I had no idea that people even lived and, you know, there, there was gay people. I still have to communicate with people back home because I still haven't really talked to them about everything that I'm doing out here. You know, I let some people know. Not everyone is on board, so mm -hmm. I'm kind of already lost with some friends and family over this. Wow. Well, coming from Connecticut, gay really wasn't talked about. My dad's from Pittsburgh, my mom's from St. Louis, and now they, now my dad and stepmom live in Ohio, and my brother lives there too, so. Um, but the family's really accepting, so it's that's what's most important. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Idaho, which most people are like, a little conservative and in some ways it was but my mom was not conservative and I was allowed to be myself from the time I was tiny and it took me forever to figure it out because I'd always been allowed to just kind of be whoever I was. There was that in my house too. My mom's an art teacher and an artist. She like retired and then opened the gallery because she can't sit still. But she was pretty open. She was very feminist. Women can do anything and um, she was very open to what clothes I wore or what I wanted to do, so I didn't feel forced into gender roles, so it didn't make me question them.